When the legendary comic book writer Stan Lee first pitched the idea of a superhero named Spider-Man who struggled with personal problems, his publisher responded, and I quote, people hate spiders and superheroes don't have personal problems. If the box office is anything to go by, Stan Lee's publisher was dead wrong. Remarkably, in seeking to create a superhero who was both flawed and vulnerable, Stan Lee stumbled upon a profoundly Jewish insight. This week's Torah portion recounts the complicated ancestry of one of Judaism's greatest heroes, Moses, our teacher. It turns out that Moses' mother, Yocheved, was actually the aunt of his father, Amram. This led one of the great biblical commentators, known as the Chizkuni, to ask, why did God agree that a great man such as Moses should be the product of a marriage which is destined to be forbidden? You see, after the giving of the Torah, Marriage to one's aunt is absolutely forbidden. The Chizkuni answer is the following. This is because there is a principle that no man is appointed as an authority over the community unless there is something objectionable in his or her past, lest he or she lord it over the community. Put simply, in the Jewish tradition, struggling with personal problems is the very criteria by which our greatest heroes are selected, not rejected. This background check was designed to ensure that spiritual and moral leaders be careful not to cross the thin line between righteousness and self-righteousness, between piety and pretension, between growing and gloating, and between feelings of sanctity and superiority. It was also instituted to help enshrine virtues like humility, compassion, and empathy as the foundational building blocks of good leadership as well as to disabuse both those who lead and those who are led of the powerful, alluring notion of infallibility. You see, the notion of infallibility, where certain individuals, usually those in positions of authority, are seen to be above temptation and immune to failings, is the unhealthy progeny of an even more pernicious and prevalent parent idea, perfectionism. Perfectionism is predicated on the mistaken and misguided notion that perfection is both achievable and ideal. Judaism vehemently disagrees on both accounts, teaching in so many ways that A, nobody is immune to struggle, and B, the very purpose of existence itself is to embrace and to elevate rather than to escape and to evade our personal struggles. But differently, the ultimate goal of self-development in Jewish thought is progression not perfection. In choosing as its role models, those who sometimes fall short but always get back up, those who make mistakes but own up to their errors, Judaism aims to smash the idols of perfectionism and infallibility, whose worship inevitably leads to a culture of corruption, suppression, abuse, threats, and cover-up. In choosing as its heroes, those who respond to their failings with honesty, with self-awareness, and with humility, Judaism is conveying the spiritual truth that we are each created by divine design, perfectly imperfect, and that true spiritual success is defined and measured not by how few mistakes we make, but by how many of them we make right. Shabbat Shalom.